I don't think she knows my truck. I think she knows the uh, the bends. So I think we're in the clear right now. What's up guys? Welcome back to the vlog. Today, we're gonna do a lot of traveling around St. Pete. So right now, it's the busiest I've ever been personally with renovations. We have four of them going on at one time and I'm about to lose my mind. It's just craziness. So uh, right now we're going to check on our newest renovation in St. Pete. We've already demoed this place out. On the last vlog you saw, I forgot the keys of this one. I have them today and uh, they're putting a new roof on right now. So let's go check it out. All right, so we're pulling up to the house now. They've already started on the roof. This roof was in really shitty condition, so I'm afraid to see how much rotted wood's up there because it's really gonna jack the price up on this roof. But uh, let's get out and see where we're at. All right, so I can already tell that there's a ton of rotted wood because there's a giant ass hole in the center of the roof up there if you could take a look. So I already know that they're gonna be replacing that. It's probably not gonna be a good day, but let's go check out the inside. Uh, we did not know about that. I knew the roof was bad, but I had no clue it was that bad. All right, so when we purchased this home, as you can see, we've already done the demo in here. There was a wall right here. We knocked that out. This was the kitchen area, obviously. We're going to redo all of that. Come around the corner here. This is our bathroom, so we haven't had a chance to demo this out yet. That'll probably happen within the next couple of days. We just ran out of space in the dump trailer. So, one thing I liked about this house, the sizes of the bedroom. So we only have one bathroom here. We're deciding whether we want to add another one. I just don't know if it's going to be in the budget. But if you only have one bathroom, you better have big bedrooms. So let's go check out that other bedroom. So they turned the garage or carport or whatever the hell this place was into a bedroom as well. I just cannot get over this giant hole in the ceiling. They made a large room out of the garage or carport. Here's your, obviously your master closet, but one thing that I really liked about this place, is they had this little loft up top. What we're gonna do is we're probably gonna put a barn door here to save on some space, and then we're gonna build a ladder right here, just to kind of give a nice little feature to the house. Once again, I just can't think with this going on. Craziness. You know what? You know what that sound is right there? And this whole mess? More money that needs to be spent. So it's a little disappointing to see all of that wood rot, but it is what it is. Let's go check out this yard sale next door and see if they got anything good. What's happening, guys? Oh, yeah? Yeah. You guys moving? Just sold it. Just sold it? Alright, yeah, we'll check out the furniture. You guys sold it, huh? Yeah. What'd you guys get for it if you don't mind asking? Excellent. Good, good. Yeah, I'm, I just bought the house next door, so we're gonna, okay. yeah, we're gonna flip it and sell it. Hey man, sometimes you gotta, gotta interact with people and just talk to them, you find out information. That guy just sold that house for 242,000, which really uh, eases my pain a little bit because that tells me that, you know, we're going to be able to sell this home in the mid 200s when we're finished. That helps. All right, we're on our way to our next renovation. So we purchased this home as a 2-1 and it needed some work. It wasn't in bad condition, but we're gonna turn it into a 2-2 because we already had a buyer that we were trying to find a home. They couldn't find a home because this market is just crazy right now. So what did we do? We went out, we found a home, we renovated it to what they wanted and then we sold it to them. So we're not even finished with the renovation and we already have this home under contract. That's always a plus. We know we're gonna make money. We had a great budget to work with. Let's go check that house out now. All right, this is our newest one. And you're gonna remember this floor plan because we renovated one two blocks south of this. So let's go inside and check this one out.
We're kind of walking in this one mid renovation. I got a couple before photos that we'll throw up there for you so you can take a look at, but we're already well into this one. So if you followed us along since the beginning, this floor plan should look really familiar to you because this is the exact same floor plan as the 18th Avenue renovation that we did about six months ago. Very light flip, we added the backsplash, and right in here is where we're going to add the second bathroom. So this was actually the master bedroom shower and bath in the last renovation that we did, but I don't know if we're gonna add square footage to this one because this buyer just wanted a second bathroom. They didn't really care about the square footage. So you can already see we're kind of planning out where we're going with the toilet. Our vanity's gonna be here, washer and dryer here. But we have a very modern, very sleek glass divider that's gonna go here. It's gonna be frosted. There's gonna be a five panel frosted glass door going here. It's gonna look fantastic. Let's go check out the rest of it. So the bedrooms, love it, great size. They're the exact same size because it's the same damn floor plan as the 18th Avenue, which I mentioned before. But like I said, very quick renovation. We added this backsplash around the vanity, just cleaned everything up real nice. Uh, like I said, this was a super easy flip for us. Guys, if you're living in this area and you want to sell your house, call me because I'll buy them all day long. All right, so the last thing that we had to do, we did a real light landscaping out front. I would take you outside, but it's hot. So I'm just gonna tell you about the shed from here. So actually, we need to take you outside. That's, that's <laughs> up. All right, Woo, it's hot out here. So the backyard, it's gonna be a great space. Once again, we're gonna create a nice fireplace, fan cut on. Every time we go to film something, something happens. Planes fly over, cars honk, air conditioners come on. It's insane. Backyard, we're gonna build a fire pit. We lifted all the branches from the trees. You take a look around, you can see where we made our cuts. Really added some depth to the backyard. We are going to reface the front of the shed there and we're gonna repaint it. So the last thing on the agenda here at this house, we need to take these appliances over to our 12th Street location, but I don't know if we're gonna move this refrigerator today because that shit's heavy and it's hot. So let's get started. I suck it back in this big ass truck up. Pain in the ass to drive because it's so long. But you'd be an idiot not to own a truck, right? Feel like somebody's watching me. That's gonna end up in there, isn't it? I don't think it's gonna fit, bro. I don't think it's gonna fit. Lift with your legs. Ah! You should've got that on video. What, you fell? <laughs> Needed more ventilation. He split his pants wide open. That's awesome. Okay, so we're gonna make a quick pit stop at Lowe's up here because we need to pick up 22 by fours for our studs for the new wall at the renovation that we're going to now. So we're gonna try to save some time if I can get over here. You know what I love when you turn, when you put a turn signal on and then people speed up, why? Like, and then you switch lanes and go to the other lane. It's like, what are you doing? Oh, here's a turn signal. Let's be a dick and not let someone in. I feel like in this vlog, I can just be myself. You know, I don't have to be 100% professional because I'm showing you what goes on throughout my day and what I'm actually thinking. When someone cuts me off, I give them the old one finger salute. I mean, it is what it is. Don't cut people off. Bro, I told you I can't drive this big ass truck, man. Two by four by eight. So what we're doing right now is we're trying to make sure these two by fours are straight as possible. So our wall's flat. Look at this, Matt. Look at the bend on that. It not only quenches your thirst, it uh, quenches your thirst. Sponsor me. <laughs> Next renovation, let's go. This is our newest renovation. You haven't seen the inside of this one yet and we've already demoed it out. So let me show you what our plans are for this. All right, so all the walls in this house were this nasty old school wood paneling. 
So we only have this one up right now so we can shut the shades, have a little privacy in here. But this area that you're standing in right now was the old living room and there was a wall right here. You can see from the mark on the floor. There was like a little pantry. We knocked all that out. All right, so this is a new flip day one. We just closed on this today. Wood paneling just everywhere. So, gotta blow this out too. It's gonna be a nice little place. Take it away, future Everett. So what we're going to do, extend this wall over, put all of our appliances and cabinets on this side. We're going to move the sink to the island, which will be right here. So you can either use this room as a dining room or like an extra living room. And then on this side of the house, you see the wall was here. This was the master bedroom. All of this and all this back room back here. So it was a two, one and a half. It was just a giant space. You, you don't really need a master this big in a two bedroom home. So what we're gonna do is turn this area here into the new living space. And we're gonna add the bathroom. You can see the toilet was here and a sink. We're gonna add a tub or shower somewhere in this area here. If you've been following along on Instagram, you can see this is the third renovation that we've done where we found an American flag inside the house. So I think that's pretty cool. So our plan for the master, we are going to extend out here and all the way down to build a very large closet for the master bedroom. This will go away and this will be our new entrance into the master bedroom. So when you step in, you'll see a large open space. There'll be a door here somewhere along this wall or right here. We haven't decided that yet. And that will be the entrance into the master bath. This will go away. This wall has already come out and it'll end kind of parallel with this here. So somewhere in this area here, we'll do a very large shower. It's gonna look fantastic as all of our renovations do. Making this the living space here, this will be the second bedroom. Now we did think this was kind of cool, so we left this ceiling. We're not gonna take the wood paneling off of that. We just think it's kind of cool, something different. So we will add a closet on both sides here and two French doors that will open in and you'll have a nice bedroom right here. It also goes out to the backyard. Let's go check it out. So this back area here, we're gonna clean it up really nice. We're gonna keep the brick. We think it looks cool. We're gonna build a fireplace here. Phone's blowing up, you hear that? And we also have this back area here. We are going to, uh, we're still trying to figure out what we wanna do with this, to be quite honest. Whether we're going to drywall it in and try to add an air conditioning unit to it, or we may just leave it a shed. I think it's great because you don't have to use your garage for storage at this point. You can literally come outside and use this giant shed. So I like this house already. So here's a better look at the backyard. We're gonna need to kill all of this, which isn't a problem. Very minimal landscaping. We are gonna do like a little patch of grass there. So if someone buys this, they have an animal, the animal has somewhere to go to the bathroom. This right here leads out to the alley. It's locked right now. So Matt, you wanna throw the camera over the top? You can see the alley. There's a trash can, cool. Let's go back inside. So let's go outside, help Rob get these appliances into the garage because the Sasquatch is on vacation. He's diving right now. It's gonna be a brutal summer. Man, I'd rather be hot than cold. Are you serious? Yeah. Man, I would definitely rather be cold than hot. I mean, you can only, you can always put on more clothes, but you can only get naked. That's true. <laughs> <laughs> Are you trying to say Steinmark does not have clothes? Yes. Bro, how much you wanna bet? Right now we are going to Steinmark or, or some place to get close so Mr. Rob back there can get a new pair of shorts since he split his wide open. So Rob decided that Steinmark did not have the clothes he was looking for. So right now we are going to swing by our demolition project because we need to check the grass here and it's high. But we haven't been to this place since the whole house was down and right behind that fence is the pool. If you remember just a few months ago, I was knocking this thing down. All right, so we're at 
taquitos Mexican. We're about ready to go grab some tacos. So see you guys inside. All right, so we're at one of our favorite spots in town, Taquito's Mexican restaurant. We're about to enjoy some tacos. Whenever I'm on 4th Street, I try to stop by and scare Debbie, but she's not in the office today. So I'll see if Tom, our broker, will give us the key so we can get in there and do something to her. All right, so her office is upstairs. Make sure no one's around. The last thing we want to do is have someone write us out. So not only am I going to prank her, but I'm going to use her tape too. All right, so what we're doing right now is blocking the sensor. <laughs> you. Oh, Debbie just pulled in? All right, we got to I think she knows my truck. I think she knows the uh, the bends. So I think we're in the clear right now. Oh, yeah. Debbie, how's it going? <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even think you were going to come over here. <laughs> you guys. It would have been better if we were in the office when she opened the door. So we couldn't have planned that better. I was kind of upset when we got there and she wasn't there. And I had to resort to like the little mouse trick. But not only did I hit her with the mouse trick, which we won't get to see the payoff on that. But I can guarantee you by now she's already up there freaking out. And I'm just waiting for my phone to ring. No, he did. He went in my office. He puts a piece of tape over here. So I figured, can't figure out what's wrong with my mouse. Yeah, but if you wouldn't have seen me, you have not. You would have not found it. Oh no, I would have freaked out because you don't know the computer's been broken for days. I would have been calling IT, freaking out. Any other surprises? I don't know. I guess you'll have to look around. Oh come on! What did you do now? Oh. You don't like lizards very much, do you? Oh, did you put a lizard in here? I don't know. All right, so went home, changed, got a new shirt on, ready to go to this closing. After the closing, we're going to go to another listing that we sold a couple days ago. And we're going to pick up the lockbox for that. And then we're going to head down to my office, turn all the paperwork in along with the checks. And then we get paid. Um, unfortunately, I can't bring the camera in there. So I'll probably be in there for about 15 to 20 minutes. Uh, and as soon as we're done, we're going to take the paperwork and the check down to St. Pete Beach to my office. And uh, that'll be pretty much it for the day. Be back in a couple minutes. Debbie, how's it going? <laughs> 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 